Hey Star Wars fans, Action Figure Collectors, welcome back to another Black Series figure review. We've got Obi-Wan Kenobi Jedi Legend, brand new release, uh, just got this today. I'm very, very excited about this one. I've been waiting for this one for a little while. Number 17 in the Obi-Wan Kenobi lineup. He's definitely had a good batch of figures come out in in the last, well, no, I guess over just over 12 months, I suppose, since uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, the series, sort of wrapped up its original air um but yeah looking forward to been definitely looking forward to this one um given we've just had the the final duel oh sorry jewels and uh darth vader which i reviewed a couple of weeks ago so yeah nice to have almost the accompanying obi-wan kenobi i hope this isn't it for the line i hope there's still some more characters to come um yeah would love to see young leia young luke owen baru just to name a few, it wasn't meant to rhyme, but it did. How about you? <laughs> Let's open up Mr. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Here he is in the packaging. Let's remove his accessories as carefully as possible. Get rid of all the, all the rubbish. And we'll take a look at his accessories to start off. Does come with his lightsaber, which again, Hasbro's just sort of not quite finished the job with the paint on this one. Obviously the end, end of the blade isn't black. So that's a little bit of a letdown, but easily fixed with a Sharpie. But um, yeah, we shouldn't have to fix these. But uh, it is a newer, newer one, because it's just got that sort of nice slide in peg. So there's no sort of prong or anything, so. I don't know. Yeah, a little bit of a bummer that they can't get the colours right. They've done that a couple of times now. Um, but yeah, it's it's a small detail. And, you know, for the most part, I'll probably display this one um, with the hilt pegged to the belt and the, the sort of robes closed over there. And then we get the little T-16 Skyhopper toy that he gives Luke right at the end. He does attempt to give it to him early. Um, but that's a cool little addition. So this is the same model that we see Luke playing with when he's in the garage in A New Hope. So it's nice that uh, Obi-Wan or Ben gave him that as a gift. Sort of I guess he sort of knowingly gave it to him, knowing that it would sort of inspire adventure in Luke as a kid. And of course, it did. So, yeah, I, just, I literally just flipped that upside down just so it can uh, stand up a little bit better. So you can just sort of display it as so. So that's a cool little accessory. Let me take a look at Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now he does have a very similar robe to the uh, the Jabim Kenobi. I don't think that one had a pocket in it. So that's cool. That's a cool little addition. But it looks mostly the same. It might even be a little bit darker. I don't have him on hand at the minute to, to compare. Um, if I did, I absolutely would. <laughs> but um, yeah, maybe it's just the contrast with with the sort of lighter outfit, given that the uh, robes that he was wearing on Jabim were quite dark. But he is rocking the uh, the goggles this time. And I'm pretty sure the head sculpt's the same as the Jabim one, which is just, it's it's such a nice looking Ewan McGregor Obi-Wan Kenobi. I think it looks fantastic. The goggles could be removed. You may have to pop off the head to get them off because they are uh, they might they might stretch a little bit I just want to see if they're malleable enough just just enough there we'll get it underneath the hair so we'll get a close look at the goggles there again probably not going to wear them on the figure just put them on the uh, put them around the neck as they were but they do fit but a nice addition, a nice little harken to the uh, the mythos look we've seen Obi-Wan in 
for years, that sort of halfway point between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope, and I guess now the Obi-Wan Kenobi series and A New Hope. We do sort of see him rocking some goggles in some of those artwork and figures and stuff. He is wearing a backpack where he's carrying, you know, Qui-Gon's lightsaber in his own, and he's got a Gaddafi stick and all sorts of stuff. But um, yeah, digging the robe, I think that looks good. I'm just gonna take that off so we can get a look. Now I'm pretty sure this is the uh, same sculpt for the Jedi robes that we've seen on like the episode one, episode two, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, and that's fine, I think it looks good. There's no problems there, it's a little bit brighter. Probably similar to his episode one look. I do like the uh, fingerless glove look. I think that looks good. You know, a bit more of a, a Jedi sort of pilgrim. Now living free of the guilty burden. Here's the boots. I do like the sort of the black wraps there at the top of the boots. I think that looks good. See, so yeah, it'd be the same legs, same upper legs at least, as the other uh, Jedi Obi-Wan figures. So yeah, he's looking pretty good. I'm digging it. He does have a good range of articulation. He's got the ball jointed head, the ball joint in the neck, ball hinge in the shoulders. There is the uh, the butterfly joint in there. And the nice sort of soft upper tunic there in the soft plastic allows for some little bit of extra give in those shoulders. Uh, one single hinge in the elbow, ball hinge in the wrists. Joint in the uh, torso there, ball joint in the thighs, swivel in the thighs as well. Knee joint and ankles with the rocker joint, which is good. So good articulation all over. But yeah, I'm really, really liking the look of this one. It looks cool. Definitely love the, uh, the robe. Looks good. Looks good with the. Uh, I love. I just love the contrast. It's not a, quite a black robe. It's a very sort of dark, almost a you know a dark chocolate kind of color. But yeah, contrasts really nicely with the very. It's not quite white, like a very off-white robe, and then with the black gloves and the black bands around the top of the boots. It's a cool look. A very cool look. A good counterpart for the uh, Spirit of Qui-Gon Jinn figure, which I should have before the end of the week. So I will put a review up of that one when he arrives. But despite the, uh, the little bummer there with the lightsaber hilt, I'm calling this figure a success. I like it a lot. I think it's well done. I just want to make sure that pegs in there nicely in the side. Yep, that holds nice. You know, once that robe's over, the lightsaber doesn't matter, but I'm pretty sure I've got a spare Obi-Wan Kenobi hilt anyway that is correct. If not, I do have a silver Sharpie, which will fix that. Nice sort of brass gold belt buckle there. Some pouches and buttons on the belt. Just nicely detailed all over. Nice clean paint apps, particularly on the face there. Really happy with the way this one's turned out. And that brings us our 11th different Obi-Wan Kenobi Black Series figure. There are a couple of different variations of those releases, but uh, yeah, 11th different one, not including like the Kenner color old Obi-Wan and the original version. Um, there was another couple of versions released of the old Obi-Wan, but yeah, it's good. It's good. I'm going to do a little bit, little bit of a lineup. I'm going to go dig them all out of my tub, seeing as I don't have them on display yet, and I'll do a bit of a Obi-Wan lineup of all the figures, and I'll put a photo up on uh, Instagram. So yeah, love to hear your thoughts, folks. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate your time. 
very much appreciated. I do want to sort of see how we will sort of hold I guess there's plenty of ways you can display that in his hands. I'll mess around with that off camera. But yeah, nice little accessory there. Anyway, folks, thank you for watching again. We'll see you for another review very soon. Till then, hello there, and may the force be with you always.